This is a tutorial on where to place claymores. Generally a tactical idea. Uh, I don't have any preference for a map right now, so I'm just gonna close my eyes, keep hitting down at random until uh, I feel like it's time to stop, and then I'll just choose whatever map that is and do one. Alright, radiation. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, these are my current classes. I'm not planning on keeping some of these the same. Just pause the video at any part if you want to. I'll go through them again. Alright. Now, the idea of a Claymore placement is... Uh, oh, by the way, this is my first video I'm recording the audio for at the same time as the video. I usually watch it later. So if I mess up, it's going to be messed up in both. But uh, the idea of a claymore placement isn't to point it at the door. The idea is to point it somewhere where it's hidden and it can easily be... it can easily kill somebody. Now, the idea is to generally... Uh, oh, I am in this match alone, by the way. Um, the idea is to assume everybody's going to have that blast suit on. I don't remember what it's called. I never use it. But assume that just because uh, they may not die from it. Now, a lot of people will just do that. Now, that's not the greatest thing because if someone goes like this, if someone comes in here and they're looking, they can see the laser before it goes off. And if it cl say it clicks right now, honestly, I don't know if this would kill me. We're gonna find out. I don't know if it will. Now that didn't work out very well. That's it does get kills, but that's not a proper placement for a claymore in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna keep going back to the same spot because personally, I like that spot. It works pretty well. I really only go for uh. A 2-3-4 kill streak. I have hardline on, that's why it's 2-3-4. Uh, spy plane, SAM turret, and care package. And my SAM turret and my care package I can change because of what they are. But anyway, like I said, that's not a decent claymore placement because they can easily blow that up before it even kills them. Uh, some people do this. I've seen people do that. I mean, that's not good either. Look, you can you can see it. You may not notice it, but they can see it. They can see the laser. It's too obvious. Uh, I've even seen some people on ladder areas do it like that. Or that. Now that's just horrible, because if you look up, it's easy to see. They could easily just set it off and do that. Now those are bad examples of a claymore placement. Now for a ladder, I've seen some people, this is not too bad, but I've seen some people do this. That's not too bad, because that that might get the kill. If you put it a little closer, a little more chance to get the kill. Uh, most likely, depending on how, like if they came in this door, say, they wouldn't see it. If they came in from this side, though, they might. They probably wouldn't, but they might, like, jump and notice it or something. But it's decently until they get up to here, because if somebody's expecting it, they'll go up, they'll look, and they'll come back down. Now that's an okay placement, but this would be much better. For the ladder, that would be much better. You can see this laser. It goes straight down and almost, pretty much almost touches the uh, wall, and the other one... It doesn't really matter because there's no way for a ladder, there's no way they can get from here where it'll click to here before that thing explodes. And most likely they won't see that. They might see the laser right there, but opposed to the laser, it's they're seeing the laser compared to the whole thing. That's a big difference. Uh, and for this door, for example, what I would do is I would line up at the wall, I would look at it, and I would go up until I thought that the tip of the laser would barely touch the door. Now pretty much the only way they could get past that, as you can see the tip of the laser from what I can see, is about... I can see it up to about there, which is decently good enough. Because most people when they come in, 
will go like this, and they might live it. I can't tell you for sure because it's that couple of, it's that few inches that could make the difference, and that's not always perfect, but they might live this, but most likely people go through the center of the door, and that would definitely kill them. Now, we're going to find out if it would kill them if we're about this far away. It did. That was a very good Claymore placement. I got lucky on that part that it was pretty much as perfect as it could get. Now, they could see it through the wall if they have Hacker like I do. And if they, if they see it through the wall, they can easily destroy it, but it's a delay. It delays them, and it works out pretty well. That's just one placement. Uh, I've only gone over just about five minutes, so I'll quickly uh, go over another map just at random. Remember, these are at random. That just happens to be a spot I do like, and I happen to play this map decently often, but that's a random one. Uh, again, I'll do it at random. All right, random. Okay, I get radiation again, of course. All right, this one works. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I really use Claymores here much. This will be a little uh, challenging. All right, I got about three and a half minutes I got to cram this into to fit it on YouTube. Ah, uh, I see you, yeah. He's one of my main players I play with. He's pretty He's pretty good at it. We have a little cooperation. We, uh, uh, since I use the spy plane, he used, I, and uh, Sam Turd and Care Package. It's pretty much a spy plane with two Care Packages. He uses, uh, I don't know exactly what he uses. Sometimes he'll use something like a Sam Turret Care Package Sentry Gun. Sometimes he'll use, uh, I don't know, Sam Turret Care Package Napalm Strike or Mortars or a Helicopter, but my, uh, my spy plane, I use that because it helps both of us out. It helps him get his higher kill streaks, helps me get my lower kill streaks. I mean, I can get the helicopters and stuff, but I would rather take my chances and get uh, random random kill streaks because it's more fun using something that you don't know what you're going to get. And they're always all good. All right, this looks like a good place to use it. Uh, for this one, it's a little tough. I would have to say... Hmm. I'd have to say that would be your best bet. They might see it coming this way. They might see the lasers. But that's your probably your best bet. Coming from this direction, they won't see it. And if they're running, they'll run straight this way. The, I'm almost guaranteeing you they're not going to go in that corner. They might do that, but that's very unlikely. But their best bet, they'll be about here before it goes off, which this probably will not kill them. But it'll hurt them. But if uh, if they're coming from this direction, they're gonna see it. But that still buys you some time. But that's about the best you could do for this area. Whoa, 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 whoa! I see you. What are you doing? All right, hold on one second. I see you. I am recording right now. I'm in the middle of a recording, and you jump in. No, you can. St no, you can stay in. You can stay in. Just uh. Warn me next time, please. I'm doing a proper... I'm doing a proper Claymore placement video. I got about a minute left. No, I only got a minute left. Just stay in. Alright, and, uh... I'm gonna be... T I'm talking on the microphone, too, so I'm actually recording what I'm saying. Alright, anyway... Another decent placement would be about... Here. The reason I say that is... When they're coming in this way, they might see it, they might not see it. If they don't see it, they're most likely going to run this way because they don't really have a choice. Not many people are going to run this way, but if they do, they'll probably be about here before it blows up. And that's, uh, that's a lot of damage for them. It's a decent amount of time, but you can't get perfect placement every location. Uh, lastly, I'll do one more quick placement for the end of the video. I would say... Let me get into a different room. I only got about 20 seconds. Alright, this looks decent. Say your spawn's on the other side of the map, theirs is here. This would be okay right here. I mean, it may not get you a kill, they may notice it. 
but it's it's better than nothing because they can't see the laser and the best they could do it would probably blow up when they're about here would probably be the best they could do and I missed and that's again an almost kill if you're back there looking at them you can easily pick them off now that's the end for this video I hope the everybody on YouTube enjoyed it and subscribe whatever do what you want check out the website for more information